Hey guys, and welcome back. We're back some more Quantum Break. Just got done with Act 1, Part 3, and now we're on Junction 1. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Close and I have to play as a bad guy. I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. Sir? But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy All get clear, the city sir. on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The Mr. choice Serene. is yours, hmm. but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. So, oh, I can find out the objects, but it sounds like depending on the decision I make <laughs> will affect the rest of this game. I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. They brought the statue. Those jerks. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Couple things over here. Jack would never understand More the notes. necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed okay. too great a risk to our plan. Area affected. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness ha, visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very... Sir. Oh, not this girl again. Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. You have guns out. I mean... I don't know if there's really a way to proceed at this point other than just kill her. Paul, I just talk you to need you. a decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. Where... Is there like another option? Or do I just talk to you? My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. This reveals two potential futures. Your decisions, each junction point will steer the stories of both game and live action show. Interesting. Okay. Show PR. What's PR? Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence 
violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Okay, that sounds like the good choice. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. So to speak. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Dang, that's a tough decision. Cause like even the bad choice still it's like I don't know it sounds like it would make the game easier for Jack but at the same time although I can't bring myself to kill her so I'm going to have to spare her life we can't risk any unwanted attention convince the witnesses not to talk keep eyes on them and send them home initialize a PR campaign we need the city on our side Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Seventy percent of the community agreed with my choice. <laughs> Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys have a good one.